two tickets to fiber dice. Well, really just one, and it's mine. But you can get your own. Hi, I'm Rachel. This is Lucky. And you are watching Black Hat Yarn Crafts. Today I'll be unboxing Paradise Fibers June 2023 Fiber of the Month Club. And it is pretty humid and hot here in Western New York today, so I do feel like I'm in a tropical paradise setting. Let's see if this can get me in the mood and help me get through this nasty day. The Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club is $34.99 US with free shipping to the continental United States. They do ship their packages internationally, but you'll have to check their website for the conversion rate and the shipping times and prices to your country. The box ships between the 5th and 15th of each month. Uh, I'm located in Western New York and I tend to get my package within a couple of days of shipping, which is super exciting because I live in a really rural area. So sometimes our shipping gets delayed with our teeny tiny post office and all the stops it has to make to get here. The monthly theme will match the fiber colors that they choose and also the extra goodies that you get. They include a lot of exclusive colorways and you get between four and 10 ounces of fiber a month, which is freaking awesome. On top of it being exclusive colorways, the fibers tend to be specialty fibers a lot of the times and there's a lot of things in there that I wouldn't have tried myself and it's really cool. Each box, or I should say bag, will come with a couple cards in there that will talk a little bit about the fiber that's in your box, a fun little story, and also suggestions of how to spin your fiber for that month with photos that show you what they came up with, and example patterns of what you could make with that. I think that's really fun because sometimes you get a fiber and you're not really sure what you want to make with it. And this is a great way to spark your interest and also get you thinking about different patterns or different types of spinning that you may not have done before, such as doing fractals or lace weights or maybe doing some kind of an art yarn. So I really like that monthly inspiration that I get in the box with the fiber. As a final perk, you do get 10% off of Paradise Fibers branded fibers on their website, and you can also get additional fiber from the box until it's sold out. So if you want to get more to make a larger project, you can do that and get a little bit off the top. Let's dive into this bag. So we have our cards. They always have a fun picture, you know, to do with the theme of the card. Um, talks about everything that's in there. A little bit of a story about the fiber. And also a recommendation of how to spin this fiber that's in the box and a pattern idea. So let's dive into it. The first item is one ounce of de-gummed mulberry silk cocoons. Oh my goodness, look at these. Woo! That is a lot of silk. Um, if you're spinning just the straight silk, you could get quite a bit out of this. Um, it spins super, super fine. This is so fun. It makes me think of like uh, matted up cobwebs from like a Halloween decoration. That's really cool. It's so soft. So soft. Okay. All right. Then we have, I'm stuck to my silk, two ounces of staycation. This is an undyed blend of 60% Polworth wool, 20% mulberry silk, and 20% yak down. So you can see this has a beautiful combination here. We have the undyed Polworth, which is the white, and then the yak down, which is kind of this light fawny 
color it goes really nicely with my my desk here and then you can see the sheen from the silk in there this is absolutely gorgeous it is so so soft oh my goodness oh my goodness I'm loving it and then our other fiber is two ounces of depigmented yak fiber so you can see the yak in here um, combined with the Polworth is kind of this light here we go we can here's a, a little staple of the yak and you can see that it's that darker maybe a medium brown color and then we get to this one which is just kind of like a like an ecru um, standard undyed ecru color and this again is so soft I'm really excited to do it in the blend of the Polworth. The Yak is a very short staple length as we saw here. Here's another, another little piece of the Yak from the blended one, right? So short staple length. So doing it, um, you know, together with this, you can do, you know, different types of long draws or short draws depending on how the fiber is prepped so this is really cool and this oh, again super dreamy soft then we always have our little notion bag of goodies so we always have a tea we have a sweet honeydew melon so maybe I'll try that as like an iced tea We always have a little sheep sticker here. So Eunice, today we have her ready for vacation in her little inner tube and her sun hat and her glasses. So cute. Also makes me think of her sitting on top of like a, it's like a little UFO. Mm, yeah, I'm weird. <laughs> and we get a stitch marker so this one is a wave and I like I don't know if everybody got it on a blue but I got it on a, a blue pin here and speaking of pins we got our ticket to paradise super cute uh, wood burned pin and I like the rubber backings on the pins it's really nice so there we have it for this month. We got five generous ounces of fiber and this silk again is going to go a really long way. So you could spin these separate, you could spin them together. One of their recommendations in here is spinning 588 yards of a two ply lace weight yarn out of two ounces of the fiber. So that shows this one here, the staycation. And they knit this up into Laura Nelkin's um, Guinness, Genis, I'm not quite sure how to say it, scarf. And they also showed in the sample, they did knit it up with some beads. They, they didn't include beads in the box, so that would be an additional thing. Oh, Miss Peepers is talking. Hi, honey. Are you excited about the fiber? No, you're not going to talk? Okay. <laughs> uh, so this is really exciting to me because I love Laura Nelkin's patterns. They're super easy to follow and that's actually the person that I learned how to knit lace from and how to knit with beads from on her craftsy classes. They did have also a runner-up pattern here, which is the prospect pattern. So I'll look up both of these and I'll insert some pictures of the patterns for some ideas. And yeah, that just is so exciting. Uh, and they did tell you that they use Mayuki Sea Beads in Topaz. And that is part of the specials for the month. Oh, Miss, Miss Papers is, is coming up to join us. We'll see if she graces the camera with her presence. 
Um, so they have some fun freebies. Oh, yep, there she is. She's like, this fiber is the same color as me. I love it. It's mine. Uh, but anyway, if you um, place an order of $25 or more, it sounds like they will send you the seed beads, but you also get a special ep copy of ply that is their silk issue for free. So apparently Miss Peepers is staking claim to the fiber that is um, hers and maybe she thinks this is from when I brushed her. <laughs> she always wants to uh, wants to play in the, the fur that I brush off. <laughs> All right so there you have it. Um, this month Paradise Fibers box is Peepers approved. Let's do it. So overall, I'm really excited about this month's box. I love trying new fibers and that's what I love about a mystery box is you never know what you're going to get. And it kind of pushes your limits a little bit sometimes, like these degummed silk cocoons. I have spun silk before um, from a little hanky and, and blends, but I have never worked with silk cocoons before and I'm super excited to work with these. I'm gonna have to <laughs> get my hands nice and, uh, and soft. They get a little roughed up um, from working around the homestead. So this, this will be an interesting, interesting project for not the smoothest hands. <laughs> but I don't know yet if I wanna spin these by themselves and play around with silk or, or what you really do with this. So I'm going to have fun, explore what you can do with the silk cocoons, and then we'll have that in a future video. If you've used, you know, degum silk cocoons before and you have a project idea or uh, a way that you've spun it, please share it. I would love to know and get some ideas from what you've done with it or what you've heard about and what you'd like to see done with it. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Overall, I think this box would be great for anybody. If you are like me and you really enjoy a lot of natural colors, you have this one here that, woo! <laughs> Run away, you're mine, don't go. You have this one here, which is the, the blend, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. has this kind of fawn type color to it. And then you have the natural. However, if you're also into colors, don't let this stop you because these will be really fun to, to dye. You'd get a really cool over dye with this one here and then obviously, you know, this will take up whatever color you want to do it in. So you could make this work for anybody, whether you want more calm neutrals or you want something really bright and vibrant. You could have fun and experiment with, with dyeing this yarn or dyeing this fiber or, or dyeing the yarn that you make from it. So all in all, um, this gets, you know, two thumbs up and I think it's an awesome box. So if you want to get the Paradise Fibers box, I will put a link down below. Um, it's not an affiliate link. If that changes in the future, I'll make sure to put a note and a, a little something across the screen here. I can't wait to have fun with this and think about what I might want to make might actually do the suggestion in the card of doing the two-ply lace weight and knitting up the pattern from Laura Nelkin. As I mentioned before, I absolutely adore her patterns. They're always written incredibly easy to follow, broken down fantastic, and the, the color of these is like totally up my alley and it'll look good with whatever I want to wear <laughs> from my closet in the fall and winter time. So yeah, that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Go spin and pet a cat. I love the smell of wool.